Guys, welcome back to another episode of the Friday Night Gospel Show. We're going to jump right in. we got three amazing segments. Um, we're starting off with our first, first one, which is Fraud Watch today. Now, this is a, has not been around in a little bit. It has been just quite a few episodes since we've done a Fraud Watch, but today it's got a, one pretty dear to my heart. We're going to be talking about why ESPN, ESPN is on Fraud Watch. Now, I know some of you guys probably aren't sports fans, um, so uh, just bear with me. I think this one's going to be interesting. You might want to stick around for this one, all right? Um, ESPN, the biggest distributor in sports news. They broadcast a lot of games. Um, Disney bought them recently. Um, But we're going to be talking about their highest paid employee, and that's Pat McAfee. He just signed an $85 million deal with ESPN making him by far the highest paid, uh, their highest paid employee by a long shot. Um, and this is all because he's got a very successful talk show. He gained an audience, um, not just by being good at his job, right? Because you gain an audience because, one, he's hilarious. And he literally just says what's on his mind. And he doesn't care about being politi- politically correct. And he's got great guests on all the time. Who is? And this is why we're talking about him. This is why he's even in the conversation. Because Aaron Rodgers, who is a quarterback, if you didn't know, um, is a weekly guest on the show, and he's a really big name, um, and they always have really interesting conversations. Um, so basically, Aaron Rodgers is the same way. He does not care. He's very open about his beliefs. He doesn't care about being politically correct, and he certainly doesn't care what people on the internet are going to say about him. Um, so that being said, that kind of gives us the, the drop back for what actually happened. Um, a couple of weeks ago, um, on the talk show, the topic of Epstein's list uh, was brought up. Now, this has been in the news re- recently because they're, they're starting to kind of expose some names that were on this list. Obviously, this is a horrible situation, what they're going through, but it was brought up. So Aaron Rodgers just started joking about uh, Jimmy Kimmel, um, who was kind of brought up in a conversation about this a, a little while ago, and so his name was brought back into the conversation. Not that he was on the list, but they, him and Aaron Rodgers had some kind of beef, and this was the center around the beef. Um, and then basically how the conversation ended was Aaron Rodgers jokingly kind of saying, I would, if his, if Jimmy Kimball's name was on the list, he would be celebrating, um, which is obviously an absolutely jarring comment, but it's also super hilarious and super funny. But instantly this comment went super viral um, and they had all the executives were shaking in their boots at ESPN Uh, Yada, yada, yada. And long story short, Aaron Rodgers can no longer come on the Pat McAfee show. Now, ESPN now are flexing their their muscles. Um, They're one that I don't know if they're owned by Disney. And we kind of discussed in previous episodes of how bad Disney really are and how evil they are. Um, But they're clearly heavily tied to um, the elites that run Hollywood because Jimmy Kimmel is just I know he's a big name, but let's be real. His show is taking a hit. Not a lot of people watch his show. It's it's just a glorified night show, um, and he's just a face of Hollywood. And suddenly, a little joke is thrown. Again, it, it was definitely a little harsh. I mean, we're not gonna not gonna take anything away from the comment. It was definitely hilarious, right? Um, but then suddenly, Aaron Rodgers no longer is welcome on the ESPN Network on the Pat McAfee show. Now, you may be saying, "Ah, oh, he made a bad comment. That's on Aaron Rodgers." Well, to, the, to reinforce this even more, recently Pat McAfee on his own show on ESPN called out ESPN and one executive by name for leaking fake information to the public about their ratings. Right? I will say this. This college football season, Pat McAfee has been heavily involved in what they've been doing, and this is the most I've seen clips of of ESPN game day, college game day uh, that I've seen in years. I'm not really a big college football fan, but I've seen so many more clips. He's done so much. I can tell you just as an actual super, super casual that Pat McAfee has been a net positive um, for what he's been doing on ESPN. Um, So he basically called out literally his employer for, for sending these fake ratings in um, to news sources to try to bash the show, right? This is just crazy because this is c- literally coming from the people that hired him. Now, you might be thinking, I'm not going to get into the, n- the, the nitty gritty. I've, I've heard different theories of how it might be contracts. So if they want to fire him, if his ratings are low enough, they might be able to fire him. So there's there's a lot of back and forth that could be going on there. I'm not going to really get into the, n- the nitty gritty of those potential options. But it's crazy. Like, this is why ESPN are a fraud watch because they are clearly... They want to have full control of whoever is working under them. They don't want them to 
um, think for themselves. They don't want to have a different opinion. And if they do want to have a different, if they some of these employees do have a different opinion, they definitely will never want them to share on air. They want to be totally politically correct, um, and they don't want to like they don't want to have any open conversation at all on any of their shows. Any room for open dialogue, even in a joking setting. And so, whenever a company is like this and they're super controlling, automatically I want to put them on fraud watch. So that is exactly why ESPN are on fraud, are on fraud watch today. into our second segment um we're going to be going uh, i'm going to be joined by a couple of contestants and we're going to be doing a new segment it's going to be do we're going to be doing a five second challenge segment so basically you're going to have five seconds to name three things it's very uh self-explanatory we're going to cut to this year right now and i'll see you guys there Alrighty, guys, we're here for our second segment, which is going to be our five second challenge basically the rules are i'm going to give them five seconds to name three Things. Pretty self-explanatory. I think you're going to get the hang of it as we go. So we're going to start with you, Reese. All right, Reese. Here we go. You have five seconds to name three vegetables. Go. Potatoes, carrots, uh, lettuce. Yes, there you go. There you go. <laughs> you almost didn't get it there. You, you got to hit the buzzer. That's how, that's how we go. All right, Wyatt. You have three seconds to name three Ivy League universities. What? <laughs> Uh, Bro, what are you talking about, man? Oh, that's the time. Stop. All righty. That makes sense. All right, Zayden. You have five seconds to name three things you would find in your bedroom. Go. Uh, shoes, clothes, and bed. Nice. Just in time with about 4.5 seconds. There you go. Reese, you have five seconds to name three months of the year. Go. January, February, March. Very good, very good, very good. Zayden, you have five seconds to name three pizza toppings. Go. Pepperoni, broccoli, and spinach. Very good, very good. All right, Reese, you've got five seconds to name three sports that use a racket or a bat. Go. Oh, shoot. Table tennis, <laughs> uh, baseball, and... Oh, stop. Five seconds is done. Yikes. Wyatt, you have five seconds to name three Old Testament characters. Go. Moses, Joseph, Abraham. Very good, very good. Just in time. All right, Zayden. You have five seconds to name three singers. Go. Uh, Justin Bieber. Oh, shoot. Time's <laughs> off. There we go. All right, Wyatt, you have five seconds to name three spices. Go. Uh, cinnamon, cumin, bay leaf. There we go. There we go. There we go. Here we go, Reese. You have five seconds to name three types of flowers. Go. Uh, dandelion, rose, and... Oh, oh shoot. You got something on the third one. Wyatt, you have five seconds to name three things that start with the letter T. Go. T... Tiger. That's five. That is five seconds. Yikes. Zayden, you have th uh, five seconds to name three TV hosts. Go. Okay. Um. <laughs> it's, time's off. <laughs> Reese, you have five seconds to name three clothing brands. Go. Columbia, Nordstrom Rack, and Carhartt. Reese, unfortunately, if you did not say Rack, you would have got the point. <laughs> You were you literally were one one word off. Nordstrom would have counted. You have five seconds to name three superheroes. Go. Superman, Batman, Robin. Very good, very good. Zayden, you have five seconds to name three potato chip flavors. Go. Uh, sour cream and onion, uh, salted and vinegar. Three potato chip flavors. You said sour cream and onion. You said salted and you said vinegar. Technically. <laughs> I'm asking the audience here. I, I'm because because you can because you can say salt is and there's definitely a salted flavor, but then is it just vinegar? That's that's what 
That's what I'm. I, uh, oh shoot! <laughs> Unfortunately, Zayden. All right, we're almost, guys. We have a. Uh, we, we got a few left here. Why? You have five seconds to name three tennis players. Go. Serena Williams. Uh, good try. <laughs> Reese, you have five seconds to name three countries in Europe. Go. Do you ever look at someone and wonder what is going on inside their head? Oh, wow. Oh, oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> England, France, Spain. Come on. <laughs> England, France, Spain. <laughs> Listen carefully to the questions, Aiden. You have five seconds to name three famous people whose name is Michael. Go. Michael Jackson, Michael... Yikes. That's five <laughs> seconds done. <laughs> Why? You have five seconds to name three modes of transportation. Go. Bus, plane, car. Very good. Reese, you have five seconds to name three famous people from Spain. Ready, set, go. Are you serious? Okay, very good. Toss that mic over. <laughs> Wyatt, you have five seconds to name three things that are illegal. Go. Uh, drugs, underage drinking, and underage driving. I'm going to say you didn't get it in time. Stop the cap. Whoa, whoa, whoa. From here to here is only four seconds. Drugs, underage drinking, and underage driving. Zayden, you have five seconds to name three cities in New Jersey. Go. Uh, Island, uh, Ocean City, and... Oh, no! <laughs> Reese, you have five seconds to name three active politicians. Go. I don't know. Reese, this is your bread and butter. <laughs> this is your bread and butter. <laughs> um, Wyatt, you have five seconds to name three active basketball players. Go. LeBron James, Steph Curry, uh, Joel Embiid. Very good. All right, guys. Thanks for watching this segment of uh, Five Second Challenge. We'll see you back in the studio. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed that segment. I hope I probably will be doing it again. It was also an awesome time recording, uh, getting some funny answers. Uh, but going into our last segment, we are not staying here because our last segment is going mobile. And I'm going to be going around uh, to some of the students here from Impact Youth. And I'm going to be giving them a category. Now, they're going to be getting, it's going to be a top five list. But I'm going to have them ranking uh, their top five without knowing what's coming next. So without further ado, let's go mobile. Are we, are we rolling? Yeah. Katie, I'm going to give you five breakfast foods in no particular order. You have to rank them without knowing what's coming next. Okay. So here's your first one. We have a bagel. One through five. Where are you putting a bagel? Three. Three. Any, partic any particular reason why? They're all right. They're all right. Okay. Next up, we have a breakfast sandwich. Four. That's kind of that's kind of that's kind of sus. What's going on with that? I don't really like breakfast sandwiches. Okay, we have our cinnamon rolls next. What a, what a, where's that going to be? One. Big fan. Yes. Okay. Uh, waffles are next. Two. Two. Okay. Um, any particular any particular way you like your waffles or? Like a Belgian waffle like a with ice cream. Understandable. Okay, and then our last one, which is going in the f is that in the five slot? Yes, it's going to be French toast. I guess five then. Guess five. Are, you, are, you, are you happy with that or? I would have put it in three. Okay. Was, was that that bad? No. Okay, good. All right, Christian. Top, it's going to be a top five, but you don't know what's coming next. The category is types of food. Now, so our first, first one is a summer barbecue. Summer, summer barbecue. Where are you going to put that? Three. Three. Okay, understandable. Nice, way, good, easy way to start. Our next category is hibachi. Hibachi. Five. Five. I, I'll be honest. I'm with you with that. It's kind of sucks. It's just entertainment, but that doesn't mean the food's good after time. Yeah. Emotional damage. Yeah, that does for me. It, it, I'm in the bathroom. I don't know about you, but. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Next, we have. Imagine you go to a, a like a sporting event and there's a tailgate. So. I don't go to sporting events. Okay, okay, understandable. We have carnival food. 
So that's going to be one or two? Two. Two? <laughs> All right. So moving into our number one, I don't know how you're going to feel about this. It's fast food. Oh, no, 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 no. If you had to put one, something else in one, what would it be? Probably the barbecue. Understandable. All right, thanks for playing. All righty, who wants to be next? Category is going to be drinks. So our first option right now is chocolate milk. Where are you going to be putting that? Really the end of a good day Solid for three. a lifter. Solid three. Um, I'll, that would be, some people would probably put that at one. I would probably put that at five. For you, why is it a three for you? I like to get it before I get duck hunting. It's lucky. Understandable. All righty, next we have iced tea. <sighs> Two. Okay, okay, understandable. We have Gatorade next. Four. Four. Any particular reason why number four? I mean, it's all right, like. Next we have a shot of espresso or coffee. Not a coffee fan? No, yes. I hate coffee. Okay. And then for your number one spot, I don't know, just let me know your thoughts on this. We have lemonade. Yeah, it's good. Good, you're happy with lemonade? Lemonade or ice is... Okay. All right, it's a good list right there. Absolutely, your category is holiday foods. Now, your first holiday food is, again, this is, it's all, all, all cuisine, all right? Turkey, where are we putting that? About a five. You, a five? Yeah. No turkey? <laughs> mm. no, not really. Okay, okay, well, so we got our second option is eggnog. Zero, we're at one. One? Yeah. You a big eggnog fan? No. So you, wouldn't you put that at four? Nope. Wait, uh, Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> you put you put turkey at five. Will be that you don't like turkey. Ah, that makes sense. Okay. And so, right, so, right, so turkey, I'll do three, and then eggnog, I'll do five. Okay, that makes more sense. All right, all right, all right. Next option we have is gingerbread cookies. Probably around like uh two. Okay, understandable. We have two more options, Bobby. The next one is mashed potatoes. You got your one and your four slot open. Slot. One. 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 Yep. Okay. One. You, you feel happy about putting it at one? Yep. Yes, sir. Okay. All right. So that means your last option, which is going to be at number four, is your charcuterie board. What's that? It's a board of like cheese, cold meats. Well, I mean, that's four. Yeah. four. Right, better than eggnog? Yeah. Okay, how do we, how would out of scale one to ten? How do you feel about that that ranking? Uh, five, I guess. <laughs> okay, very very non committal. <laughs> what kind of tomatoes? Cherry. What kind of what kind of cheese? Mozzarella. Very good, very good, very good. You're gonna rank the cities based on their food one through five. Now your first option is going to be Chicago. Mm. So Chicago, I'd have to put at four. Five. Okay, we have New Orleans next. Oh, that would definitely be a two. Two? You a big seafood, big yes. seafood fan? Love okay. seafood. All right, all right. We have Philadelphia coming in next. Oh, Philadelphia's amazing. Okay. Greasy cheese whiz, okay. fried onion cheese steak. Sounds like you're number one. Ah, uh, three. Okay, you just hyped it up, Miss Christine. You just put <laughs> put it over three. All right, we have two left. We have Los Angeles next. Uh, that's all shishi food. They are, like, and it's like this: the portions are tiny because they all want to be skinny, so they don't eat. So that would definitely have to be my five. Okay, five, understandable, understandable. And so, you have your one spot open, and for me, I think it makes sense because New York City is the last uh, option. So it's absolutely number one. It depends on where in New York City too. What borough are you yeah. going to? You got a lot of options. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. New all York right. One. Thanks for playing, Miss Kirsty. Reese. You know what's going on. You know exactly what's going on. Food combinations. So your first option is pineapple on pizza. Five. Not a fan. No. Okay. Um, anything to say about it besides just not a fan? It's not good at all. Next option, fries and a milkshake. Oh, that's number two. You, you, a, you a really big fan of that? The goat! The okay. goat! Okay. Okay. <laughs> we have eggs and bacon. That's a three. That's three. three. Yes. Were you thinking about a one for that, or? Yeah. I have a question. If you had to switch fries and a milkshake and eggs and bacon, would you? Yeah, probably. We have macaroni and cheese. It's got to go in one or four. Four. Four? Not a big Mac guy? Um, you know what? No, we'll do one. One? one. Okay, well, unfortunately, it's steak and potatoes is last. Oh. 
my gosh. <laughs> Can't, cannot switch them. So, uh, unfortunately, steak and potatoes is new number four. I know how much of a meat lover you are, so. Anything else to say on that? No. Okay. Smells. Okay. The first smell is coffee in the morning. A one. Okay. I know you're a big coffee fan, so it makes sense. The next option we have is a smell of bacon. I'm going to say three. Okay, okay, okay. We have this, this was a little bit of a rogue one, but it's a, it's a love-hate. We have the smell of gasoline. That's five. Five? Are you not a fan? Not in the, no, not really. Okay. No. Okay. We have, our second to last option is fresh cut grass. Four. Four? Okay. So we have our, I think number two still open, and that's freshly baked cookies. Oh, spot on. All right. I think, I think that was a winner right there. You're going to have to rank these people on who would you want to be a presidential candidate. And they're not in politics whatsoever. So this is going to be strictly on vibes here. So our first option is The Rock. Uh, he's just a pretty face, but I mean, I don't find him that pretty in the first place. Um, four. Four? Okay. We have Mr. Beast. Mr. Be I don't even know who that is, so five. Oh, wow. Okay, okay, okay. That, 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 that's correct. That's correct. Um, we have Morgan Freeman on number three. One. Number one. You're a big Morgan Freeman fan? Yeah. Okay, okay understandable. He's, age. he's the perfect age to be the president. Understandable. Makes a lot of sense. All right, we have another uh, movie guy. We have Keanu Reeves. Two. Two. Okay. All right, all right. And then you have your four spot available, I believe. Or three spot available. I think it's a three. And that's Elon Musk is coming in at number three. Five, but yeah, I guess not so. Not so. Not a fan. <laughs> no. Okay. All right. Sounds good. <laughs> All right, Zayden. You've been filming. You know what the game is. The category is going to be fast food places. And I know when I did my top ten fast food places, he was having some major issues with me putting some things, some things lower than they should be. And yeah, he was having some issues with me. All right. So our first option here is going to be Wendy's. I'd say four. Four? four. Not, not a big Wendy's guy? It's not amazing. Not amazing. So that, that would be one of my top ones right there, but that's just me. Next, we have Burger King. What? I'd put it at probably a three. Okay. Okay. We have, it's understandable for me. That would definitely be a five, but we have Chick-fil-A next. Yeah, it's going to be... A two. A two? Under, I get it. I like it. Leaving them one spot open, but you make it a high score. Second to last option. We have McDonald's. That's going to be a five. A five? Not, not a McDonald's guy. Not really. No. Okay. 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 Well, from knowing you, I know you're going to be really happy with this one. The, going in your, at your number one spot, we have Taco Bell. That is an amazing list. Perfect. I think, I think he's locked in right now. Thank you, Zayden. Yeah. So this is going to be your first one. Pasta. One. One. Okay. We have crepes. Five. Okay. Okay. Interesting. We have macaroons. Four. Four. Fish and chips. Three. Three. And then on your number two is pizza. Were you happy with that list? Yes. All right. That one was better. That one was good. Thank you, Aspen. I'm going to give you five options. You have to rank them one through five, but you don't know what's coming next. Your category is going to be ice cream flavors. Sounds good. Okay. Gianni, your first option is mint chocolate chip ice cream. Number one. Number one. Are we sure about that? Yes. Okay. Number two, our option is coffee ice cream. Ew. Number five. Not a fan of coffee ice cream. That's disgusting. How dare you? Okay. How dare me? We're getting this? <laughs> what? You are disgusting. Man. This is great content. <laughs> Don't look at me like that. Coffee you chocolate. just dissed coffee ice cream, put it in fifth. What do you mean? Wait, well, that's disgusting then. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. I was laughing at him. He knocked the penguin off. Don't talk to me. We're lo we love this content right now, guys. Thank you so much. Gianni, our, our third option is going to be strawberry ice cream. Number three. Number three. All right, this one might be a little controversial. Might be two or four. Pistachio flavored ice cream. Four. 
Yeah. yeah, I'm the same way. That would definitely be five for me. Then our last option, which is going to be your number two slot. I think I'll be happy about this. It's cookies and cream. Mm. You don't well, you don't like cookies and cream? No. If it was chocolate, oh it would be better. What? <laughs> I'm, I'm shocked right now. So are you happy with how your five landed? I don't know. You have, okay, I'll, I'll read it back to you because you gave a lot of sad faces here. You gave, you gave me mint chocolate chip at one, which is your favorite. You gave me cookies and cream, strawberry flavored ice cream. Change that. No, you can't. No, 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 no. You can't change. Then it's pistachio and coffee flavored ice cream. Are you, are you happy with how your list turned out, not knowing what came next? No. All right, she's not a very happy camper, but oh well. <laughs> so we're going to do breakfast foods. Okay. Okay. So this is going to be your first one. It's going to be a bagel, one through five. Where are you going to put it? Uh, three. three. Okay. Uh, the next one is a breakfast sandwich. Ooh. So a good sandwich from my mom and from my dad, Ed, where he ma puts two English muffins and uh, an egg and uh, American cheese. Better than Duncan. Okay. So where, where are you going to put it on the list, though? I'm glad to hear that. Uh, number two. Number two. Okay, respectable. Next one is cinnamon rolls. Five. Five? Really? <laughs> okay. We have waffles next. One or four? Four. You don't like waffles? I do, sis. I wouldn't eat it every day. Okay. okay. So this is your number one. Your number one is French toast. How do you feel about that? Number one. That's, that's, the, that's, what, that's what you had left. Oh, sure, number one. All right. So how do you feel about that list? Uh, interesting. Mint chocolate chip. Three? Three. Okay, three. The next flavor is coffee ice cream. Four. Four. Okay. <laughs> Their next option is strawberry flavored ice cream. Two. Two. Okay. We have pistachio flavored ice cream. Five, I guess. Five. Okay. That's you only have two options. So you have one option left, and you have one flavor. So at your number one flavor, the last option is cookies and cream. Yes. How 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 do you feel about your list? How do you feel about your list? Wow, we got the objects being thrown. Well, how do you feel about your list? I don't know. Alrighty, pause right there. We have an important announcement. January 31st, here on the Impact Community Channel, we are having a game show, a live game show here at Impact Church. Boys versus girls, the Impact Youth are going to be going head to head in a game show challenge hosted by myself. And they're playing for the losing team to get a spin the wheel forfeit. You do not want to miss this. You can come in person here at Impact Church at 7 o'clock or online as well at 7 o'clock. You do not want to miss it. I'll see you there. Let's get back to the show. Alrighty, guys, that's going to wrap up our episode for today. Uh, if you guys enjoyed, let me know down, down in the comments below, and I'm for sure going to be bringing another banger for you all next week. See you then.